Hi, welcome to my channel Collective Logic. I plan to use this channel to follow my journey to this smart automated home. More about me. This is not really the beginning as the title might suggest. Uh, I've been playing around with uh, electronics and programming all my life. I came from uh, my first programming experience on the ZX81. Don't worry if you don't know what that is. Most toasters have more intelligence these days. I have always been a tinkerer, uh, but never very good at it. Uh, as a child, I love taking stuff apart, perhaps putting it back together. My sister loves to remind me of the time when I uh, took her washing machine apart, toy washing machine, machine she had as a child which I disassembled well at least now I know how it worked worked past tense unfortunately which is why I continuously get reminded even in my adult days uh, anyway uh, let's come back to the future great movie that PIR is kind of where I started automation. Uh, we did a building project on our house six years ago or so, and I started putting in PIR sensors into the light switches. Unfortunately, that didn't go too well because I was just moving into new LED lights as well, and the switches and the sensors didn't really see eye to eye one rather expensive set of bulbs later and I reverted to normal clicky switches. Not too long later I came across a fantastic product called Lightwave RF or Lightwave as they're now just known. Lightwave brought out a product range that was smart, smart automated uh, you can use switches, it could control heating. Let me see if I've got a few of their products here. This is a boiler controller for heating, a seven day timer. Um, that's a relay you could use for connecting into other things. Oh, I've got far too many pieces. Plug sockets. This is a daylight sensor. I'll stop there as you can see I, I got far too excited by these products um, so yeah I've got a whole load of these installed around the house right now almost all of my light switches are Lightwave RF they're controllable by my phone I also have Alexa in the house and Alexa can speak to Lightwave and control everything via the house rather nice to say good night Alexa and off we go to sleep all the lights go off so why am I moving on into this uh, when I seem to have it all together well Lightwave is fantastic I'm not a salesman for them by the way but there are a few flaws their light switches only do dimming <clears throat> so if you have light bulbs that you are unable to change for dimming without meddling with them very painfully you can't get them to switch simple as that also they are only compatible with certain bulbs because of the way they work the heating side I no longer use Lightwave RF um, whilst it worked it was nice to control these via um, the timer and my phone most importantly but the timer was not predictable was not accurate sometimes we would have no hot water in the morning not fun so I moved on from there to Nest uh, Nest is a great product uh, semi-intelligent in that it keeps track of your comings and goings and over the seven day period will learn your timings as you adjust it for a few weeks in fact Nest is so much enjoyed by me that I've got another one we have two heating zones in the house Nest can do one heating zone and one hot water supply 
the hot water works very well uh, that works on a program and the heating whilst there can only be one zone uh, we have an upstairs zone and a downstairs zone effectively and therefore I've bought a second nest so I've covered all of these things where am I going well I'm breaking away from off-the-shelf products I've recently been inspired by a guy in Australia called Jonathan Oxa who uh, is an electronics uh, hacker or maker if you like and he's been automating his home using self-built electronics and that is where I plan to go and that's where I plan to follow this journey on my channel Collective Logic. So I would like to use this channel to automate my home. I shall be building the electronics from the ground up including the light switches. I've already started on some products which I'll show you in the next few videos and if this all sounds interesting to you, come along for the ride. Later.